Welcome back to ABC 57 Saturday kickoff. Now, Notre Dame game days are full of tradition, and one of those traditions is found right outside the Irish locker room. It's actually become an iconic piece of Notre Dame history. ABC 57's Vahid Sadrazadi joins us now live from the stadium inside the tunnel. Vahid. Hey, Allison, and down this tunnel, you'll find one of the most iconic signs in Notre Dame college football history. The Play Like a Champion uh, Today sign is just down this hallway and just to the right, heading to the locker room. And today, finally, we get to meet the minds behind the message. By definition, time is a measured period during which action, process, or condition exists. 200 years from now, how will your time be remembered? Will it be by single acts of kindness, or maybe by the journey, the process, of getting from point A to point B? Or is it the state of mind, the feeling, to which you shed onto others? 200 years from now, how will your time be remembered for today? A long, long time ago. <laughs> today is a special day for South Bend native Lori Wenger. A day rooted in action and process, and hampered only by condition. I was the only one that did it. There was nobody else. It was all hand done at that time. And I could have done it because I, I took commercial art in high school. 30 years ago, Wenger worked at the University of Notre Dame as a graphic artist and sign painter. Hundreds of signs, footballs, all by brush stroke. When one day in 1986, football head coach Lou Holtz sent her another project. Went to the library and got all the books on the history of Notre Dame, wanted to know everything about it. And I noticed a picture in there of the entranceway to the stadium, and it had play like a champion today. I said, we're going to get that sign made up again. We're going to put the same place it was in that book. It just was just another sign. I had other things on my desk that they wanted me to do, and so somebody from football came in, gave me a scrap of paper, and said, it was it said, play like a champion today. And I was given it and said, coach wants this in blue and gold. Okay. So I used the colors available, available to me at the time, and the rest is history. And with permission from the university, Lori could sell the sign. Time went by and other people wanted it too, so I was like, okay. And so I started to make it into a business. It was like, holy cow, <laughs> a lot of people want this. So I was just floored by that. And for the next four years, Lori didn't have much of a life because she hand painted every single one of those signs. I think it was close to, what, 600 yeah. we did hand painted in our basement. She worked all day and then come home and did it at night, and we were both down there. You know, she wasn't down there alone. And then Don would come and help. It was just, it was a group thing. The two married for all but seven years, and in a moment, everything would change. You know, when you're married and, you're, and your wife's diagnosed with MS and you look at the challenges that are going to lay, lay ahead of you in your marriage and uh, going on with your life and, you know, you say I do and you say in sickness and in health and I took that seriously. Uh, it's not easy, but uh, it's her enthusiasm, her smile that keeps you going. You get so proud of her every day that um, it's rough. The disease stripping her of even the simplest of passions. Since her diagnosis 23 years ago, Lori has lost much of her mobility. But today, after a decade, this painter is reunited with her past. I do know, friend. Waking up the echoes in her mind that can't be forgotten. And it's in these brush strokes that her time is told. When you hit that sign, I want you to remember all the sacrifices you have made all the effort you have put forth, all the effort that the people and players that came here before you in building this great tradition have put forth. You know, her sign's gonna be there in 200 years. Her legacy is going to live on in that sign. Her artwork is going to be there. So that's kind of neat. That's a good legacy for her to have. 200 years from now, how will your time be remembered? Will it be action? Will it be the process? Or will it be condition? How will you be remembered for today?
pleasure to meet Lori and share her uh, message. She lives by that motto, play like a champion today, each and every single day of her life. Now the disease has taken her ability to paint away, unfortunately, but she did sign a very special sign for us and we will be auctioning that off in the near future. So look for more of that on ABC57.com. Live at Notre Dame Stadium, Vahid Sadrazadeh, ABC 57 Saturday kickoff. Allison, back to you. Absolutely wonderful story, Vahid. Everything about that sign is so special, so iconic to Notre Dame. And, and being in my position in covering Notre Dame football over the years, I have had a few opportunities to actually you know, see the sign in person, to be able to touch it and put my hands on it. But the most special time for me was just this past summer. I got married. My husband and I were given the gift of being able to go inside the tunnel and being able to take some of our wedding photos there in front of the Play Like a Champion sign. That is a memory that we will have for the rest of our lives. We are so thankful to Michael Bird.